airspace is getting crowded every year with an increased number of air travelers. It's important for each country to understand the aviation demands and implement relevant systems and technologies to meet future needs. International Civil Aviation Organization creates guidelines and regulations by analyzing these air travel needs. Also creating clear guidelines to reduce the environmental impacts due to increased air travel. Improving accuracy and coverage in air navigation and as well as during takeoff and landings are the primary factors to address these needs and accommodate the increasing air traffic. Satellite navigation is providing greater benefits to the aviation industry by providing flexibility in selecting flight routes and also by providing precise navigation and approach guidance to the aircraft. This navigation method eliminated the need for a variety of ground and airborne systems that were designed to meet specific requirements for certain phases of flight. Global Navigation Satellite System or GNSS is the generic term for satellite navigation systems that provide autonomous geospatial positioning with global coverage. GNSS is fundamentally different from traditional navigational aids. It has the potential to support all phases of flight by providing seamless global navigation guidance. Many global implementations of GNSS are currently available. United States Global Positioning System or GPS European Union's Galileo Russia's Global Orbiting Navigation System or GLONASS China's Beidou Navigation Satellite System or BDS India's Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System or IRNSS Japan's Kazi Zenith Satellite System or QZSS GNSS provides accurate guidance in remote and oceanic areas where it is complex or too costly to provide reliable and accurate traditional navigation guidance. Even in areas well served by traditional navigation aids, GNSS supports area navigation operations, allowing aircraft to follow more efficient flight paths. However, the accuracy of satellite navigation is impacted by various factors such as position errors, clock errors, ephemeris, or ionospheric delays. GNSS augmentation systems and technologies such as aircraft-based augmentation, satellite-based augmentation, and ground-based augmentation were developed later to correct positional errors and improve accuracy. GNSS with augmentation can improve airport usability, through lower minima, without installing navigation aids at the airport. GNSS may support the approach procedure with vertical guidance on all runways. GNSS with augmentation provides approach guidance with accuracy equivalent to the traditional ILS-1 category during landing. So how do GNSS works? Each GNSS system has a group of satellites or satellite constellations orbiting the globe at the altitude of 20,000 km to 37,000 km. Each satellite transmits the orbital data and accurate time information of atomic clocks to calculate the position of the satellite and the precise time when the signal was transmitted. Most of the GNSS systems also contain geo-satellites which get correction messages from ground stations and are transmitted to GNSS receivers. GNSS receivers adapted the concept of trilateration, and received data from three or four satellites at the same time to reduce positional errors and identify the precise location. Modern GNSS receivers are capable of receiving the position data from satellites and correction messages from geo-satellites to achieve precise navigation. Current GNSS systems with augmentation are capable to provide coverage over 99% of landscape and accuracy of 1 meter and below. Globally these GNSS systems and related technologies are developed based on International Civil Aviation Organization provided guidelines. These systems are interoperable with other GNSS systems to achieve precise navigation with global coverage. I hope the video was informative. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel.